Now let's finish all these routes. So first is the list order. So in the list order, we will say const orders is equal to await prisma client dot order dot find many. And inside where we will say user ID is equal to request dot user dot ID. And we want to include a simple products as well because we can do that and get order by ID because in the front end we will first show the list of all the orders and then if someone will click on any particular order then we want to show the detailed version of that order. So let's do it this way in the get order by ID we will fetch other things as well. So it's pretty straightforward we'll say response dot uh, json and we'll say orders. Let's finish this as well, get order by ID. So first we will say const. So I guess we need to wrap it inside try catch because order may or may not exist. Yeah, and here we will say throw new not found exception. And I guess we need to define an error code as well. So let's copy this. Here we will say order not found. And let's start all the orders with six. Now uh, in the not found exception, we'll say error code dot uh, order not found. And inside try, we will say const I'm very bad at typing, so pardon me for that. Mm -hmm. Await prisma client dot order dot find first or through, and here we will say where id is equal to request dot params dot id, and here we want to include certain fields. So what you want to include is, we want to include the products as well. And then we want to include the events as well. So these two things, sorry. So yeah, and we will response dot JSON simply return this response with order. So these two things are completed and inside the cancel order, it's straightforward. So let's copy this, do this. So once we have fetched the order or instead of like doing this, what we have to do is order.update and inside the update we will say where id is equal to request.params.id and inside the data we will say status and as cancelled so this is how we have to do is do this and we have to create an event as well for the same so we don't need to store that in a separate variable we can do that await prisma client dot order event dot create data we will say order id order id will be equal to order dot id and status status will be cancelled so this is how it should work and here is a couple of assignment for you so first what you have to say is wrap it inside transaction so these like this uh, controller involves couple of queries so wrap it inside a transaction and apart from that, check if the user is cancelling its own order. So we, you have to do these two things. So it's pretty straightforward. And let me know the solution in the discussion. Now let's uh, try all these things in the postman. So create order is there. We have to first save this. Now duplicate this. And we have to say 
list orders it will be of type get so let's see okay it's throwing an error i guess the server is not working so let's run the server and see if it's working or not okay list order is working now duplicate this as well and we will say get order by id here it's get so order id is one i guess okay order not found so order id is two i suppose okay so now you can see that the products and events are also listed now let's uh, save this and create a separate route for control sorry cancelling the order so duplicate this and say is cancel order it will be a put request on order id 2 so this should work cannot put on this okay so i guess it's slash cancel so let me check and the routes order so it is slash cancel okay now you can see that the status is cancelled now if i again fetch this you can see the status is cancelled and we have two events here so one is for pending and then is cancelled so all these three routes are working fine now from the next lectures we will create the admin related routes where we can modify the orders or change its status list all the orders based on all the filters like list all the pending orders list, list all the cancelled orders and all these things so let's see you in the next lectures.